Hey everybody, welcome back. What we're doing here is I've just uh, got some eggshells that we've saved over the past week or so. And I'm going to put a little bit of water in them. Because they say you shouldn't wear in your microwave without water. And we're going to put them in the microwave. And we're going to nuke them for around two minutes. And this is just to kill any bacteria or anything else that might be growing on these shells. So uh, that's what we're doing right here. We're going to hit the little button. We'll put it in here for two minutes. And let it rock and roll. All right, so today we're making a worm food. We got the eggs, we just uh, microwaved in for two minutes with a little bit of water in them. Uh, this is just cucumbers and squash, zucchini, and banana peels. We're gonna put all this in our blender. We're gonna blend it up and make some worm food. As you can see, that little bit of water evaporated out. So we're gonna grind these up first. And then we're gonna go with our our green stuff. This here just helps uh, give the worm something to put in their gizzard so they can digest the food. So we're gonna grind this up, and I'll be right back with you. There we go with that. So now we're gonna put some of our other stuff in it. Now this produce and stuff we've been accumulating this over probably two weeks or so. But a lot, a lot of it's just the banana peels. Get this sticker off. Some people wouldn't worry about it, but I don't really want that sticker in there. So we're gonna grind this up. I try to do this with as little water as possible, uh, but sometimes we'll have to add a little bit of water. So let's see how it goes. There's a little bit of bananas ground up. I did have to put a little bit of water in there to get it to start breaking it down. We'll have to do this in a couple different batches. Of course, this is going to be way too much for me to feed that worm bin I got out there, so we're going to freeze some of this back too. So we're going to continue with the grinding. All right, so we got it all mixed up here, and it does not look appetizing whatsoever. Uh, it's a little more runny than what I wanted it to be. Can't really tell it, but there's a little bit of water standing in the bottom of it, but that'd be all right. I had to add a little bit of water to it, maybe half a cup to get all this to grind down. So like I said, it's uh, eggshells, banana peels, there's some cucumber skins, some squash zucchini, and a little bit of bell pepper, and I think there's a couple of asparagus in there too. So, But that's what we got. Like I said, it doesn't look appetizing whatsoever, but maybe the worms will live it. I'm going to split this in probably three different portions. I'm going to freeze two of them and put one of them and the uh, worm bed. The worst thing you can do is overfeed your worms. That uh, if they can't uh, get to it and compost it in time, you'll get start having problems with different kind of insects and stuff. So uh, I'm gonna split this up, show you how I do that, and then we'll be back and then we'll go out and feed the worms. All right, so what I did, we got some uh, plastic bowls in here that's got the dividers in. I just divided it in three different places. As you can see, Two of them is nowhere close to the other one, but that'll be all right. Uh, I'm gonna freeze freeze this, and uh, after it's frozen, we'll take it out and put it in a Ziploc bag. That way it's in individual sizes. Uh, the worms that I've got, this part right here, shouldn't be a problem for them to be able to uh, take care of that before the bugs move in. And we still got this much in here, so I'm gonna go take some of this and put it into the uh, into the worm bed. And uh, whatever we got left over, I'll probably go ahead and put it straight into a Ziploc bag. So uh, stick around. We're fixing to go out to the worm bed. All right, so we're out here at the worm bed. Since I did my last video, I've put a little bit more paper in here and a little bit more of the peat moss. Uh, and I come out here periodically, maybe every two or three days, and squirt a little bit of water on it. But so far, everything's looking good. We're going to move some of this compost back. Or peat moss and stuff and uh, you'll be able to see the worms and I'll show you how I'm putting this food in here all right and as you can see there's one worm there's another one I've been mostly feeding them up here on this other corner but uh we got pretty good amount of worms in here as you can see 
So I'm gonna dig a little hole right here and put the uh, put our stick in it. That's it. So. so all I'm gonna do is just dump it right in here. Just like that, and I'm gonna leave that much in there. I'm gonna put that in a Ziploc bag here in a little bit. But uh I'm gonna put that down in there just like that, and then I'm gonna cover it back up. The advantage of covering it up is it also helps keep down on the flies and all that other good stuff. So uh we'll go ahead and do that. on down in there so there we go that's feeding the worms for today uh, I might do an update video in a couple days and we'll see what the uh, how much the worms are actually in there and on that so hope y'all doing good if y'all got any questions leave them in the comments below and as always we'll see you on the next one